Um, yeah, so you know what? I, I know we've talked a little bit, but uh, we're one of three shows that are on tonight on Let's Talk Football. Um, so why don't we take a little quick commercial break and uh, see what other shows we have going on here. Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, we're one of three shows that are on on Tuesday. Um, as you obviously know, we are Let's Talk Football um, NFC South Takeover. Um, we're at 5.30 Mountain Time. That's uh, 7.30 Eastern. And then also we have um, the roundtable right after this, which is, I believe, 6.30 Mountain, and that's 8.30 Eastern. And then also, correct me if I'm wrong, we have the Let's Talk Football, uh, what is it, the, the draft show, I believe. No, not the draft show. It's the, what's fantasy. it called? The fantasy. That's right. Fantasy the fantasy show. one at yes. 10 p.m. Eastern. That's 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So um, thankfully, we cover all aspects of football. But uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. <laughs> so many great shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So many great shows. Great people. Um, and, you know, you've touched on it before. I don't, I don't mention it enough, but we learned quite a bit about football. Like, especially in the last year, year and a half, like I... Uh, I look at things that I don't usually look at now. You used to just root for a team, and now I'm like actually looking at individual performances and so on and so forth. So it's uh, it's really it's really something else. But now our next topic, and I wish we had the Bucks people on for this, but that's totally cool. Is Tom Brady imploding? I I I love this because I know me and you have wanted this for a very long time. But is it finally <laughs> happening? I think so. <laughs> I know. I think so too. I'm excited. Like I don't. But, you know what? No, you go first. You go first. No, I mean, I I do have to give it um to the guy. Um, I, I think that there is, um, he needs support from his team right now. That's what I was gonna say. Okay. Um, and they need to have like him not turn his back on them. I know that there's been some talk about missing practices. You know. And yeah. if it is just, you know, if the guys are there and they're practicing, you know, it just goes to show that there's not enough. I don't think he wants it ba bad enough, but he's showing it in his frustration that he does. So it's hard to say. It's like he's frustrated on the field. We get that. We see how angry and he's really trying to make some some plays happen. But then yeah. again, during the week and stuff like that, is his head still in the game, you know, whereas some players are eat, breathe, sleep 24 seven sometimes. And, you That's know, these young guys that wanted to, they fought their hardest, which Tom Brady once did to get mm -hmm. into this league. And I'm not saying he's taking it for granted, but you know, you touched on it already. Like you need to be at practice. If you're not living up to the Super Bowl, you know, persona that you've created for yourself, the goat, the greatest of all time, then you better be showing up for practice. Yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah. So I don't know if there is, and maybe this could be like an umbrella effect of a little bit of underlying stuff of workplace relationships. Yeah. You know, uh, football, it is a game. It is a sport, but it also is their job. Um, so I, it is their work and they have to find ways around that. And I, I know that the NFL doesn't shed too much light on that as much as I would like to have, um, some no knowledge into the behind world, but it's just yeah, it. I, I I feel you. You know, I'm uh, I, I wrote a little a little bit down, but yeah, like I'm just gonna start off by saying that this isn't a direct shot to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yes, yeah. I, I think there is quite a bit to kind of like 
dive into with this. So Foobs, when you are watching this, do not swing for my head when I say this, but I do feel that a big portion of the problem with the Bucks, you know, minus the injuries is the disconnection between Brian Leftwich and Tom Brady, which they kind of touched on a little bit earlier, um, Kate and Andrew. Um, I'm not going to go touch his personal issues because me personally, I feel that that does not tie into what is going on. You know, he's his head might not might not all be in it, but I, I wouldn't say that that is the main reason to the Bucks' um, current uh, situation with what's going on. Um, you know, I did talk about how Brady is screaming at the O line, like even though he rightfully can do so. You know, it it is going to leave like with one simple question, which is on everybody's mind, is you know, is what's going on with the Bucks? Um, you know, is, is this normal? Is this justified? And quite simply, Nicole, and I'll ask you flat out. Can the Bucks save their season? And what should they do to set themselves up for next year? That that's the real question. Yeah. Right. Like, if you're declining as much as you are right now, right? You know, there's a lot of things that you can touch on with the Buccaneers here, in my opinion. You know, Tom Brady is leaving. Do you trust in Blaine Gabbard? Do you trust in, you know, Kyle Trask to go and take over that role? Do you go and bolster up, you know, an offensive line that is damaged, that is, you know, needing for some depth because, you know, of the injuries that they've been going through, right? Yeah. You know, where where do you kind of where do you kind of fall with that? I think that they should just maybe watch some good old Saints videos. And the- <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I love uh, no, it. no. They, um, I, I, what's good for them? Um, they got a good fan base. Yeah. Um, very supportive in Tampa Bay. That's for sure. Yeah. And going, I think they like you. You hit it on a little bit. It's that magic stuff between you know your tight end and you know and yourself as well as, as the coach. Um, and if there's not that there, it, it's hard to, you know, you make your plays and maybe Kate touched on it a bit too, with um, certain plays not being played at the right time. Yeah. Um, and them not, you know, getting that transaction of a touchdown. So yeah. I, keys to their game um, is hoping that the Falcons fall and so did the Saints. We could, I mean, honestly. And our division's it's not open. over. It's no. only a two game in between from even me, you know? Yep. Thanks for watching. If you like that clip, be sure to check out the other great content from the Let's Talk Football community. And as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this becomes available.